injured himself and he will not be available for the first few games. We hope he comes back. Quite a player for the aside and last year was instrumental as well for Bombay Blasters. I did mention that they the same brand of cricket they come back really hard and that's the case we had match number two Mumbai game changer we are at the same stand as well it's season two we call it 2.2 it's the reformed version it's the reformed version more glamour, more glitter, more stars more cricket and more action as well this is going to be a great ride and a great journey in Superstar League. And all eyes will be on uh, the teams participating. Remember, this is uh, an even playing field with two women players and nine male players. The rules can be tricky, can be challenging as well. We're all set for the presentation as well for match number one. Quite a few performances. Running up to a lot more this evening. We have as many as five games to be played. So a confirmation once again from match number one on day one of season two of Superstar League 2.0. First match played between defending champions Bombay Blasters and last year's finalist Nivan Royals. Bombay Blasters winning it convincingly and registering their first points on the board. Nivan Royals, it was a story of so close yet so far. Quite a few hits and misses, quite a few opportunities lost. They failed to capitalize on the big moments of the game and threw away some important moments as well. They will go back with a lot of refle reflection and introspection into this game. For Bombay Blasters, it was a clean slate once again. They had all the boxes ticked. And that's why they are the defending champions. They have played authoritative cricket and they have looked good. Siddhant Obroy was phenomenal in that performance of his. The league managed by Star Connect Entertainment Private Limited. They've been doing a wonderful job. And just as we talk and just as we talk about the title sponsor, Naman Realty as well, integrity is integral. We'll just head across to the presentation area where Chaitanya Sant is present. Good evening, it's time for the post-match presentation of match number one of Superstar League 2.0. Uh, and uh, what a start this is for the champions of the first season, that is the Bombay Blasters, winning it easily, and they have defeated the Nivan Royals. Starting with the Naman Realty, man of the match, and for a brilliant performance, it goes to Siddhant Oberoi. Siddhant, Siddhant, may I have you come up, and, and I request you to first to wear the Mojim premium glassware. Yes, can we have the Mojim premium glassware? That's what you need to wear. Yes, the Mojim premium glassware. And uh, what was the brilliant innings? And that's the question. How was the vision out there? Oh, the vision is perfect. Uh, it was important for us to start well. And that's what he did. It's a brilliant team. And congratulations to everyone. Well done. To give away the awards, may I request Ketan from Egon and Ajay from Being Fit Kitchen to hand over the awards. Uh, so, Siddhant Oberoi gets light module unit hamper from One Touch Automation. Can we hand it over, please? Gym vouchers worth 23,000 from our six months from Acro. One mouth meal plan from Being Fit Kitchen. Scalp detox vouchers from Jean Claude Begin. Diet plan vouchers from Cherish Your Body and Bat from 7070 Sports. Well done, Siddhant. All the very best for the remaining season. That's the bat as well from 7070. All the best. Yes, coming up is the Naman Realty women of the match. 
just have that done after the picture's done. And the Navan Realty women of the match for a sensible innings in the first over. It goes to Mansi Scott. Do we have Mansi? All right. So can we have Rishma to collect that? Yes. Can we have Rishma to collect the award on behalf of Mansi? Rishma, I'll request you to wear a different eyeglasses. Yes. That's from uh, the Mo Gym. Okay. And uh, awards coming in for Mansi Scott. Yes, keep them coming. Get smart universal remote mini units from One Touch Automation. Moroccan oil and shampoo from Paul Michel. Gym vouchers worth 14,000 for three months from Acro. Skull Bitax vouchers from Jean Claude Begin. Charter vouchers from Jet Feet Aviation. Jewelry vouchers worth 15,000 from AS Motiwala. And cap from 7070 Sports. The cap also comes in, Rishma. It also was a good innings from you in the first over. Well played and all the very best for the remaining season. Yes, now it's time for the Spartan Poker catch of the match. I request our guests to wait on and it goes to Yug Gupta of the Bombay Blasters. Yug, you get the catch of Spartan Poker catch of the match. Gets a gift hamper from Spartan Poker. Gym vouchers worth 14,000 for three months from Acro. And scalp detox vouchers from Jean-Claude Begin. Well done, Yug. All the very best for the remaining season. That's it from the post-match presentation of match number one. We go back to match number two of the Superstar League season 2.0. And what a start this is for uh, the Mumbai Game Changers. A boundary in the first over by the woman uh, batter will result in uh, runs getting doubled. So the four counts four as eight. First three deliveries and the Mumbai Game Changers are eight for no loss. Boundary coming in from the bat of Vijaya Sharma. Vijaya still on strike and it's Rahul Shroff 
to finish the first over and again a nice hike straight to the field at uh, mid on and that'll be a single so this is again good batting there by uh, the two women openers of uh, the mumbai game changers Yes, they have. When shot that they don't lose a wicket in the first over, that's the rule. At uh, the Naman Reality presents uh, Superstar League 2.0, powered by Global T20 Canada. Who wicket lost in the first over? It'll be minus 10. They've been shot that there is no loss of that, and instead they've scored nine runs. A boundary to be doubled for as eight runs and a single taken. Vijay Sharma on strike. If she loses a wicket now, it won't be a loss. At the end of the first over, ten runs on the board. Vijay Sharma on strike goes for the big hike outside the off stump, and he's she's been beaten. That'll be a dot ball. Karan Sohal, the bowler, no ball is the call, and that is for side arm. So that's going to be a free hit that follows, and because this is a no ball, Vijay Sharma still has a delivery to face. Six deliveries done. Six deliveries Vijay Sharma has faced, and does she can be retired? She doesn't want to come back, uh, Mikhail. She wants to stay there, but uh, as for the rule, she can come back. Anuj Danda, finding at number three, takes room for himself, clears the fielder at long off just by inches. Number three, IT sixer for Anuj to get off the mark. Anuj who came in place of uh, Vijaya who had faced a six deliveries and replacing Anuj is another powerful striker of the Mumbai Game Changers Dhruv Davar. Karan Sohal picks up a wicket. Mumbai Game Changers are 17 for one. Full toss. Is there a fielder? There is a chance. Oh, that was a half chance, and this could have been trouble for the Mumbai Game Changers. Back to back wickets, but uh, Dhruv Davar nonetheless gets off the mark with a single. Mumbai Game Changers. Yes, Full toss. Yes, is there a fielder? There is a chance. Yes, it does, and uh, that's the reef for him. Comes down the track, straight over the bowler's head, and that's uh, a Naman Reality sixer coming in from uh, the bat of uh, Dhruv Tower, the first for him in the season. And at the end of two overs, Mumbai game changers are 26 for one.
Neha Kilnani still has uh, three deliveries left for her to be retired. Two overs, 26 or one, going at a run rate of 13 runs and over, or uh, the Mumbai game changes. Nitesh Changani, first ball, white ball. So an extra unnecessary run given away to the Mumbai game changers by Team Excellency. Dot ball. Team Excellency owned by Mr. Kapil Zhaveri and Mr. Gurmeet Singh. In the air, not going in for the catch. Being denied a run as well. And this will be the last uh, delivery that uh, Neha Kilnali will face. Because six balls, they can be declared, the woman batters, and uh, that's exactly what happens. Neha Kilnani faces uh, six deliveries. She scored a run of that. In walks Akash. 2.3 overs, 27 for one are uh, the Mumbai game changers. The block hole will just be a single. Good bowling by Nitesh Changani. He's just considered two runs in the four deliveries that he's bowled. Through Dower comes down the track, doesn't make the desired connection at the bottom of the bat. And he is denied a single, so that'll be a dot ball. What an over this is by uh, Nitesh Changani. Just two runs given. Last ball off the back foot, straight up in the air, and that's uh, a Naman Reality Sixer to end the third over. Mumbai game changers at the end of three overs are 34 for one. It's time for the fourth over, which is uh, the Red Bull double trouble over. Runs will be doubled and wicket will be minus five. Akash Gambhir on strike. He's faced a delivery. He scored one run of it. Three overs, 34 for one. It's the batting power play that they have chosen. So field restrictions, maximum of two fielders on the boundary line. Rakesh Chopra, the bowler. Akash Gambhi, the man on strike. Double trouble over, runs to be doubled, wicket will be minus five, first ball, dot ball. Good start to the over by Rakesh Chopra. No ball by the umpire behind the stumps and good running between the wickets by Dhruv Dower. Dives in to get in the crease and a sidearm decision. And that's uh, no ball. And does a free hit to follow. Not to forget, this is the Red Bull double trouble over. Runs to be doubled. So can Dhruv Dower make the most of this free hit? Is that a review being taken? Is that a review being taken? We'll just get confirmation on that. So decision pending for the run out, it looks like. And that was Dhruv Dawar running in uh, to the danger end. Decision pending. And uh, this has been reviewed by the leg umpire. That's Rohan Gamre to the TV umpire. It can be a big wicket because it was uh, Dhruv Dower who was in question. This is a Naman, Realtas, Re Naman Reality presents uh, Superstar League 2.0 powered by Global T20 Canada. 
the second season of uh, the Superstar League. Free hit. Ruby Dower on strike. Yorker again, not able to make connection, is disappointed. That'll be a dot ball, missed opportunity for Dhruv Dower. Swings, fielder, holds on to it. Spartan poker catch. Dhruv Dower has to walk back, it's a big wicket for Team Excellency. Mumbai Game Changers, 33 for the loss of two wickets. Three point three overs, thirty three for two. Absolutely, and more so in the Red Bull double trouble over. It gets doubled wide ball. That's a run to be doubled for us too. So Rakesh Chopra has picked up a wicket. Set the off stump and uh, going into the nearer uh, boundaries and gets the Naman Reality sixer. Four overs, 51 for two at the Mumbai Game Changers. So the off stump and that's a good delivery by Manish Sarvaya. Dot ball to start the proceedings of over number five. No ball is the call, side arm. And it's going to be four runs. So five runs to be added. So Naman Reality four. And an extra run, so five runs and a free hit. Akash Gambhir. Look to make the most of uh, the free hit, and uh, he misses. Dot ball, appeal for stumping. There was a free hit, remember? Dot ball. And are now on strike. Oh, that's punched away. Just a single. Not sure if that's the right strategy to go right now for the Mumbai game changers. They need to get those fours and sixers. But just a single. Yes, 
Yes, Mikhail, absolutely right. Bang on there. The plan is working. Akash gets uh, in the one reality six, and he goes again. Difficult shot to play, but he gets uh, in the one reality six. Uh. At the end of five hours, Mumbai game changers are 71 for two. Mani Saroya gave away 20 rounds in that over. Gaurav Kamle to pull over number six. Full toss, not able to make the most of it is Akash Gambir. Straight to the field at long off. That'll just be a single to start uh, over number six. Left hander, Karan Seth. Two balls, two runs, and that's a fast ball. So that's going to be a dead ball. Obviously, he won't want that ball to be counted. He'll definitely opt for the dead ball choice that has been given to him. That's exactly what he does. 5.1 over 72 for two. Down the leg side, white ball. Freebies being given to the Mumbai game changers. Down the leg side, white ball. Going for the big hit and, uh, oh, was there a confusion between the fielders there? One of them could have gone for it. But not to happen. Naman reality sixer. Eighty for two. Off the back foot punches straight to the field at covers, and that's a good throw. But solo single. Just a single, looking to get at least 130-140 uh, on the board. Should be the Mumbai Game Changers. Strong team, they were in the first season as well. But in the qualifiers, uh, batting just did not work, couldn't make it to the finals. Single again to Karan Seth. Gets Akash Gambhir on strike.
Yes, it's time for the toss of match number three of uh, this L2.0. It's UA Strikers versus Superstar. But for the toss, I request Amin Rozani, owner of Spartan Poker. Please join me for the toss. Thank you so much. Yes, and then I'd like to call on the toss representatives from UA Strikers, Pranav, Shimul, and Sohil from uh, the UA Strikers and uh, from uh, Team Superstar, Aditya, the captain. And we have Aditya, the captain. Yes, it's time for the toss, sir. A special toss. Who will call? Who will call? So it's Naman Reality on one side and it's Superstar on the other side. Aditya will call. Superstar is the call and Naman Reality it is. So thus, it's the UA Strikers who have won the toss and you have decided to uh, win chase. It's your first match this season. Last season was a good run. All these, almost all these players were there. So how is the preparations for this season? Uh, I'm looking forward to have a great season, having good fun, all friends around. All the very best for this match. On the other hand, Team Superstar, the owner of the league and you're the captain. Pressure must be on, isn't it? It's my first season, let's see how it goes. <laughs> sure. So how the prepare going for this match? Good. We've already trained once, so it's not a problem. Wonderful. All the very best for this match. All the very best. That's it from the toss.
We are at the halfway stage of game number two between Mumbai Game Changers and Team Excellency. Electing to field first, Excellency have conceded 132 runs. Mumbai Game Changers uh, find themselves in a position of strength, all thanks to uh, Akash Gambhir, who scored an unbeaten 52. And uh, Karan Seth as well, giving him company. The two female players walking into bat, Laura Nemeth, who opened the bowling as well, who looked good. We are all set for the second innings. Neha Kilani will open the bowling for Mumbai Game Changers. Ritam and Laura to open the innings for uh, Excellency. Can they bring in some Excellency in their game now? Chasing 133. It's game on. Oh, that's been hit. Almost a catch over there. Valiant effort by Dippy Gandhi. Quite a committed cricketer he has been in uh, this format. Once again, slapped down the ground towards mid-wicket. Nicely fielded once again by Dippy Gandhi. He's been in the thick of things. Very fine bowler and batsman. Always an asset to have in the side. Nicely bowled. Very nicely bowled by Neha Kilnani. No extras over here. She's done a good job of bowling those first three deliveries on target. And now Ritam will have to fend off the three deliveries. Full ball, and that's castled. Ritam is dismissed, and that's a minus 10. She's out in the first over. That is a simple delivery, a flighted one, completely missing that. And this means minus 10 on the board for Excellency, and this is a setback early on. Yes, Mikhail, not the best of start, isn't it? Poor delivery, it's a wicket. The first over, remember, if there's a wicket, it will result in minus 10. So, Excellency right now, four deliveries are minus 10 for one. Dhruv Dawar picks up the wicket. Mumbai Game Changers did well uh, to get to 132 runs. On the offside and that's going to be two runs, declare. 2D is what we like to call it. Oh my God, has he had too much on that? That's another wicket that falls. Yes, that's another wicket. It's uh, Nawal Kohli who has to walk back. So it's minus eight for the loss of two wickets now, Excellency. Not an excellent start for Excellency. Oh yes, just when uh, the team wanted him to play like Virat Kohli, uh, Nawal Kohli has just ended up on the wrong footing. Sometimes too much of power can land you into trouble. He got the elevation and the distance. And another wicket falls and this is bad news for them. Minus eight for two. It's not good news at all. One over. Minus eight for the loss of two wickets. Our team excellency. They're chasing a target of 133 runs. In the meanwhile, the next match is uh, the UR Strikers versus the owner of uh, the league, Superstar, Team Superstar. And it's uh, the UR Strikers who have won the toss and have decided to field first. As of now, it's the Mumbai Game Changers in the driver's seat. 1 over minus 8 for 2, our Team Excellency. More than being in the driver's seat, Chaitanya, they seem to be on a plane and uh, they're routing it at an altitude where nobody can reach them at the moment, Mumbai game changes. No whites to begin with. Their opening bats, women as well, didn't lose their wickets. This is so far a clinical performance by Mumbai game changes, but this format, anything can happen. Nicely hit. Oh, that could be close. That could be another run out. Oh. Was that deliberate? Ensuring that uh, 
batswoman is uh, not back in the dugout so that uh, damage is minimized for the Mumbai game changers. Nonetheless, one run taken but still in the negatives are uh, team excellency. 1.1 over. It's still minus 6 for 2. Ranjit Bagwe needs to clear the fence in order for the score to reach 0 and then look for the positives in the meanwhile. Long on. Spartan poker catch. Straight the field at long on. It's a procession at the moment of wickets. Three wickets gone. They are still in the negative. Minus six for three. Mumbai game changers are not changing the game here. Make no mistake. It is excellency who are changing the game. They are heading south so far in this game. Nicely taken in the deep, in the long on. Lovely catch and in comes Krishank. And in all of this, Laura Nemeth has been a spectator at the non-strikers end, uh, Chaitanya. Yes, she has. She's just faced a delivery. On the offside goes Rakesh Chopra. Looking for the second run and gets it. Is he getting the second run? And she gets it. So Laura Nemeth is ensuring that she stays at the spectators area. The best place to watch the match from, isn't it? Talk about lady luck. Just the right time to buy a lottery as well for Laura. Just not getting out today. Oh, nicely hit. Will there be a fielder going for it? Nicely fielded once again. Beautifully done. Runs drying up here for Excellency. Mumbai game changers having a strong foothold on the game at the moment. It's a one-sided contest. Goes for the big hit. Takes it on the full. Over the bowler's head. Rakesh Chopra. Gets the Naman Reality 6 is Rakesh Chopra. And finally, Excellency in the positives now. They've got uh, their two runs on the board. Two for the loss of three wickets in uh, 1.5 overs. Last delivery of the second over. Cheeky there, deflected for a single. Will he go for the second run? Yes, he will. So Rakesh Chopra bringing in a lot of sensibility in his batting as well. Besides the big hit, he understands the importance of the quick singles and the doubles as well. Laura Nemeth, she's done a great job of being there. But it's, uh, it's, it's time to get some more runs, Excellency. Four for three, that's not an inspiring... Scorecard at the moment, uh, Chaitanya. No, oh, absolutely not. Two overs, four for the loss of three wickets. While you're chasing down a target of 133 runs. You need to score, you need to score big. Laura Nemeth has faced only a delivery. So that's still bad news for a team excellency. She can be retired only once she's faced six deliveries. But it doesn't look like uh, Mumbai game changers are looking for a wicket. They'll ensure that uh, Laura Nemeth plays her quota of six deliveries. Nicely hit. A dot ball is a pressure ball, remember. Dimpy, the wicket keeper, another very fine player. Spent a lot of time in the underarm circuit. Very shrewd mind as well when it comes to cricket. Nicely hit. And a very fine batsman as well, Dimpy. Number 72 jersey, the wicket keeper here for Mumbai Game Changers. And he can be a very handy bowler as well. An all-round cricketer. And look at him once again, making all the changes in the field. The wicket keeper also should be the best and the sensible uh, person because he's the one who can see the field from the best angle. From the batsman's uh, perspective, uh, coming down the track, well bowled there by Karan Seth. Three deliveries and he's just conceded a run. Trouble for Team Excellency. Big hit. Is it going out of the playing area? No, it's not. How close was that? Naman Reality Sixer for Rakesh Chopra. Rakesh Chopra has 360 on his jersey and looks like he's planning to do that today. Hit on all sides of the ground. But almost a doomsday for him over there. Just managing to stay inside the St. Stanislaus AstroTurf Park. Karan said the bowler came in very handy with the bat. But look at uh, Rakesh Chopra giving the charge each time. This time committing too early. Finds the field at long off. And he perishes as well. A very soft dismissal. This is what happens when you premeditate a shot. You lose your wicket. Uh, nothing's uh, going right for Team Excellency. 
11 for the loss of four wickets. Top order, back in the dugout. Chasing 133 runs is going to be tough now. Four of their batsmen in the dugout. One batswoman in the dugout. 11 for four. Current seat has considered only seven runs. And there'll be a single to end the third over. At the end of three overs, Excellency are 12 for the loss of four wickets. Laura Nemeth in the middle with God of Kamble. Laura has seen four wickets fall in front of her. Remember, a woman player has to play six legal deliveries. Only then sh can she be declared or retired to the dugout. At the moment, all eyes on God of Kamble. Ah, once again, full delivery. Have you found the fielder? Another wicket falls. Oh my God, what are we witnessing here? Excellency are folding like a pack of cards without any fight. This is abject surrender at the moment. Well, that's what they call a procession. Batsmen are coming, they are going. Eight for five now are uh, Excellency, Mumbai Game Changers. And uh, this they'll be looking to make uh, a lot of positives for their net run rate if they're able to bundle out excellency at a paltry total. 133 the target. Laura Nemeth has faced only three deliveries and has scored two runs. 10 for five. And what's happened over years with that single is that he's expo exposed Laura into the double trouble over Chaitanya. And if she loses the wicket, it's going to be minus five for them once again. That's a wide, that's two runs. Now the batsman needs to keep this in mind. It's absolutely right. That's the, the Red Bull double trouble over. Runs get doubled, wicket is minus five. And now the Mumbai game changers will be looking at to pick up the wicket of Laura Nemeth. Is the last ball that she's going to face. And the bales haven't been dislodged. Anuj, stop your celebrations, Anuj. The bales haven't been dislodged. So that won't be given as a wicket. Ah, luck. Lady luck. Oh, yes. And Laura is happily going back, merrily going back to her dugout. She's completed her six deliveries. She says, I'm done with the turmoil. I have fought the battle of six deliveries. And she walks back victorious. Well done, Laura. You've hung in there for the longest period of time. And you've come out trumps. Kudos. But at the moment, uh, Anuj De hoping for the bales to fall, but unless and until the bales are dislodged, it is not considered a wicket. So now, 12 for 5, all eyes there, you can see Laura Nemeth, very well done, very well played. Oh my God, that should have been an opportunity, he's gone a begging, misjudged it, he's taken so many catches there in the deep today, but this time around completely missing it. Yes, he's disappointed with that as well. He feels he should have uh, held on to it. It could have been 12 for the loss of six wickets. At the end of four overs, Team Excellency are 14 for five. Yes, Mikhail uh, just reminds me that would have been minus five because that was the double trouble over. The Red Bull double trouble over. So that would have been seven for the loss of six wickets. Not to happen though. Four overs, 14 for five, Excellency. Umpire Karunakar Kotian signals that's going to be the batting power play. So a maximum of two fielders on uh, the boundary line. That's what the rules say of uh, Superstar League 2.0. Down the leg side looking for the big hoik white ball. At the moment uh, in a commanding situation Mumbai game changers. They don't need to break a sweat over here. Goes big. Has he got too much on that? That'll need to be seen. Not really. Nicely connected. Over long gone for a Naman Reality 6. Much needed for Excellency. Rahul Shroff. It's the first sixer for uh, him in this match. He's batting on seven now. 
21 for 5. They're going to need a lot of them. His team excellency comes down the track. Has he connected? He has connected well. Naman reality sixer. That's the only option left with excellency at the moment. Hit out or get out. That's because the asking rate is only creeping up at the moment. And uh, Rahul will need to really, really tee off every ball. Oh, nice shot, this one. Beautifully connected over mid-wicket towards the cow corner region. Didn't quite get to the pitch of the ball, but then finally managed to strike it. So what matters is the result there. And uh, they've got uh, the Naman Reality 6. Outside the off stump, lets it go, and that's a white ball. No ball, and that's going to be a free hit that follows. On the leg side, and he's not able to make anything of the free hit. That's uh, out of the playing area. So that's called as a wicket, but not to happen here. That's going to be a dot ball. They could have made the most of uh, the free hit. Not to happen though. 35 for 5. Fifth over in progress. 4.4 overs. 35 for 5. Again a big hike. Fielder. Fielder circling under egg. Anuj Danda there. Spartan poker catch. Excellency loses the sixth wicket. 35 for the loss of six wickets now. This team Excellency. Aman Khanna gets a wicket. A required rate uh, looks to be beyond their control now for uh, Team Excellency. 35 for the loss of six wickets. Karan Sohal is uh, the new man in. Last delivery of the fifth over. Goes for the big hoik is Karan Sohal, not able to make connection. It'll be a dot ball to end over at the end of five overs. Excellency 35 for six. Dippy Gandhi comes on to bowl the sixth over. A very fine cricketer. I watched him play many a times. A very hard-hitting batsman as well and he can turn the ball both ways. Very shrewd, smart cricketer. Very good with the line and length. And has played some important innings in the past as well and made some breakthroughs as well. JP Gandhi there in your frame, number 11. Nicely tossed up. But underneath the bat, that's been hit over long off for a single. T-shirt says MS. That's Manish Sarvaya. A lot of power, brute power behind that. Dimpy and Dippy, they form a lethal combination in the middle. Has he found the field at long on? Yes, he has. Manish Sarvaya departs. Dippy Gandhi strikes. And it's downhill for Excellency as this continue to slide. Trouble all caps for uh, Excellency. 36 for 6. At the end of 5 overs. The 6th throw in progress, the first delivery was a wicket. To uh, Dippy Gandhi. 42 for 7 now. We'll just get uh, the scores updated. Big back lift, but the result is just a single. Off the mark is uh, Viren Parmar. Required rate is 34.13. Perhaps this is the time to go for the game. Guma over. Perhaps uh, it's difficult for them to get anywhere near the target. Chaitanya at the moment is already Guma out for. Team Excellency in the uh, reverse direction. That's the problem and uh, not much they can do at the moment. Oh, 
Oh yes, absolutely. Nothing much that they're able to do right now. Oh, that's a misfield from DP there. Is that going to result in a run out? No, it's not. That's going to be a single. One trouble the Mumbai game changes. They'll be happy in giving away the singles and twos. This result will is going to make uh, a lot of positives for uh, the Mumbai game changes in the form of the net run rate, and that will help. Grand Parmar heads back to the Dhaka. Another wicket for Dippy Gandhi, and that's why he's such an important member in the team. You need to have these bowlers who can come and strike and break the back of a batting lineup. Dippy Gandhi once again proving his worth at the side. Getting a much needed wicket, but at the moment 46 for 8. Excellency are just sliding south. Five point five overs, forty six for eight. Dippy Gandhi has picked up two wickets. Yorker, good bowling there. Straight to the field that covers, and that'll just be a dot ball. What an over by Dippy Gandhi. Two wickets, ten runs. At the end of six overs, Excellency are forty six for eight. And it looks like Excellency are going to opt for the game Gumai over. Let's see what is the challenge put up by Team Excellency. A minimum of 25 runs. If they get that, they'll get plus 20. If they don't get to 25 runs in this over, 20 runs will be deducted from their total. Dimple Arora. First ball straight over the bowler's head, and that's uh, Naman Reality Sixer. Good start to the over. On the leg side, and that's going to be yet another Naman Reality Six. Oh, this is good striking by Excellency. Is there a chance by which they are coming back? If they get to the challenge, 20 runs will be added. And they still have an over to spare. Two balls, 12 runs that uh, Karan Sohal has scored off Dimple Arora. Pressure now a little bit on the Mumbai game changers. Down the leg side, wide ball. His denied the run is uh, Karan Sohal. He wants to keep the strike. Comes down the track, connects, connects well. Is it hitting the super 10 runs board? No, it's not. Nonetheless, it's a Naman Reality Sixer. 19 runs already scored in this over. And that's straight to the fielder. Straight to the fielder there and uh, that's a wicket finally for uh, Dimple Aurora. Mumbai game changes will uh, heave a sigh of relief. It's Karan Sohal who has to walk back. 65 for 9. 19 runs have been scored. 25 runs and the game Gumai over. Target will be achieved and uh, the last and coming in is the last woman who was retired. 65 for 9.
Impel Arora. Chance for a stomping. If he wasn't able to hold on to that one, that's going to be a dot ball. Is he getting the sixer on that? No, he's not. That's going to be a dot ball. Is there yet another delivery remaining in this over? So that's going to be minus 20 because in the game, Gumai over. Team Excellency were not able to get to their challenge. Thus, it's going to be minus 20. All the runs scored in this over are not to be counted for. And in addition, or I must say in subtraction, will be 20 more runs from the tally of Team Excellency. Last over. Dhruv Dawar down the leg side, white ball. Looks like Mumbai game changers are going to register an easy victory over Team Excellency. Still updating the score because in the game, Gumai over. Mumbai game changers uh, won the challenge. So all the runs scored in that over will be negated. And plus, or I must say again, Minus 20 runs. Going for the big heave. Not able to make connection. Dhruv Dower is looking for the wicket there. This is going to help their net run rate. Last three deliveries to be bowled by a woman bowler. And that's a dot ball. Big E, fielder, Anuj, not able to hold on to that one. No runs given though. On the stumps, like side, straight to the fielder. That'll be a dot ball. And with that, Mumbai Game Changers have registered an easy win over Team Excellency. What a start to Naman Reality Presents Superstar League 2.0, powered by Global T20 Canada for Team Mumbai Game Changers. Congratulations uh, to uh, Mumbai Game Changers. Superstar League uh, 2.0 started their campaign on a winning note.